It's been two years since Luminar Neo was released, and in that two-year time span, there is a lot that's been done to the product, a lot that's happened, and I want to review some of those things in this video, talk a little bit about what they've done with the product, because honestly, it's been changed and updated so much. I want to talk a little bit about what I've done with the product, and I also want to talk to you about some of my favorite features, why I like them so much, and talk about the one thing that I think is the absolute best thing about Luminar, Neo. Now, before I do that, I want to tell you they are having a two-year anniversary sale. You can get up to 90% off in some cases. There is an affiliate link below if you want to check that out. In addition, if you have not yet joined my newsletter on my website, there's a link for that below. I give away free presets for Luminar Neo. I give away a couple of free resource guides for Luminar Neo and even a free ebook about masking. There's a lot of free stuff there if you'd like to join and follow along. Having said that, I want to talk a little bit about what's been going on with Luminar Neo because honestly, in the uh, two years that have passed since release, it's massive. If you slow down, take a look and kind of investigate, which is what I did. Some of the things that they've done, I went and counted them. I did count them on their website. They've released 40 updates to this product in two years, four zero, that's 40 updates, which is a massive, massive amount of investment and innovation and development of this product. They've added things like um, initially the presets were kind of locked. They were black box. They unlocked presets so that you could see all the tools and further refine and customize them. They added new things like studio light and neon and glow and the blur tool with tilt shift and motion blur and all those kind of things. In addition, as you probably know, they created eight different extensions. If you look here, some of the popular ones right here from the catalog view, HDR merge, which is my favorite extension, focus stacking, upscale, panorama, those kind of things come in incredibly handy, but also noiseless and super sharp and magic light and in layers, you've even got here under masking background removal. So we're talking about a massive amount of development and capability that's gone into Luminar Neo in these last two years. Not to mention some of the more recent stuff around generative AI, which includes Generace, GenSwap, and Gen Expand, allowing you to really further refine and enhance and get creative with your photographs. And if you've been here before and seen any of my videos, you know that I like to get creative with my photographs. That's why this tool and this product, and frankly, this platform is such a good fit for me and why I love it so much. Speaking of loving, uh, loving it so much, if you've been here before, you know I make videos about Luminar Neo, but I just wanted to tell you how many videos I make about Luminar Neo. I've got three different playlists here on YouTube just about Luminar Neo. There's a quick tips playlist, which has 11 videos in it. It's going to get more. There's a beginner's guide series or playlist as well here, and that has 16 videos in it, and that's going to get more, including some that are coming really soon. And then my Luminar Neo Learning Center, which encompasses a whole lot of videos that don't really fit in those other categories. And that playlist has 178 videos. So altogether, I've got 205 videos about Luminar Neo. And I'm going to see, say, in all honesty, I feel like I'm just getting warmed up. You might think that I've said uh, all that there is to say about Luminar Neo, but I haven't. There's a lot more that I can say and do. In addition to YouTube, I've also created two different courses that I sell on my website, a Luminar Neo Masking Masterclass to really allow you to get your arms around masking and how to master that in Luminar Neo. And then also an HDR Merge Masterclass that does the same thing for you around taking advantage of the power of HDR Merge. And so having said all that, one of the things that I love about Luminar Neo is just how quickly and powerfully you can come in and allow, uh, you know, get creative control and make edits to your photos. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort to really make a huge impact on your overall image. You can come in and use a few different tools, which if you've been here before, I'm going to say that a few times in this video, but if you've been here before, you've seen me come in and use a lot of these similar tools, and that's because... I have my favorites, just like everybody does, but it allows you to come in and just take so much powerful control over your images that it's really just a, an empowering sort of approach to photography and photo editing that allows you, like I said, to come in and make something that you can really end up loving, even without taking the time to really focus on what you're doing because you're recording a video and talking about it at the same time. So I just love that. I frequently come in with develop. I start there. I use super contrast. I use a couple of key tools like up here, toning, super contrast, and color harmony. I love structure AI, accent AI, and in landscape, I love golden hour. 
and I frequently use Vignette. I use these tools again and again and again because they're so powerful and they give you so much control. Because one of the other great things in Illuminar Neo is that you have masking. You've got powerful radiant, radial gradients and linear gradients, a brush mask, and of course you have Mask AI, which automatically identifies things like skies and water. So you can go in and edit a photo like this pretty quick without spending a whole lot of time on it. Now don't forget, there's other powerful features that are fantastic. Relight AI, Sky Replacement, which is you know, one of the original Luminar innovations from several years ago. Atmosphere AI, and of course, one of my favorites here is Mystical. That gives you that nice, kind of moody, kind of fun glow overall on your photo. I'm going to add a little bit more golden hour here, just because I like to. And speaking of glow, this is one I don't use enough, but honestly, I love adding a little bit of Orton to my photos, especially like dreamy landscapes, and it gives you that nice, soft, kind of dreamy look. And you get these powerful edits from that to that in honestly just a couple of minutes. And again, I did that while I'm talking to you. I don't have any plans or any notes for how to edit this photo. And I like that edit. And that's how easy and powerful it is. And again, that's one of the many things that I love about Luminar Neo. And you might think that adding eight extensions and multiple new tools and 40 updates and all that kind of stuff over the course of two years is an impressive feat. I want to remind you, um, it is impressive. It's amazing. And it's awe-inspiring not just because of what it is, but also consider their country has been needlessly attacked by another country over the course of this last two years. So they've literally been at war and yet they're dedicated to this platform. They're cranking out updates more often than sometimes I can keep up with. And I love it and I applaud them. And frankly, it's inspiring. And so what is the favorite feature about Luminar Neo for me? And it's not Develop Raw or Super Contrast or one of the other color tools. It's actually backing up for me and kind of holistically looking at what they've done with this product because what they've done and my favorite feature is that they have essentially democratized photo editing for everybody. They've allowed anyone to really get powerful professional results in minutes using all the different innovative tools here in Luminar Neo. It's a great combination, in my opinion, of using AI to assist and guide you while also still giving you the ability to take personal control over your edit so you can customize it to the look that you want to achieve. I love that about Illuminar. That's why I make all these videos about it. That's why I use it for so many of my photo edits. That's why I think it's a fantastic overall product. I'm really happy and proud to work with these people and to use this product. And I love what they've done with it over the last two years. And uh, there's more stuff coming. I know that they're working on some new stuff and I can't wait for that to come out as well. And I think you'll continue to be impressed and amazed with what they're doing with Luminar Neo as they continue to grow into the future. So I'm looking forward to that with uh, high hopes and uh, excitement about what's coming. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to be here every week making videos about this product because I love it. I just wanted to make a little video to say, hey, two years ago, we didn't know what was going to happen with Luminar Neo. And now you fast forward two years, you can see a lot has happened to it. It's gotten more mature, more stable, more effective, and more powerful. And yet, it's still easy to use and intuitive, and you can get edits done in minutes if you want to. I love it. I'm going to keep making videos about it. I appreciate you following along on my little creative journey here on YouTube. Thanks so much for that. I'll be back soon with more videos. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be back soon, my friends. You guys take care. And until the next Luminar Neo video, adios.